I'm going to tell you guys a true story. I once managed to square the number 1,865,179,602 in my head and I got it right. It took me about an hour and I remember that it started with 65 quintillion, the answer. I can't remember the rest. I did manage to get it right. And that was obviously using mental maths, nothing written down. And that's why I thought today I would create a video just giving you some of my favorite mental math tricks. Of course, if you have a calculator handy, you can do it, any calculation using a calculator, but I think it's cool just sometimes just to use your head. People are impressed with it. It can save time sometimes, and it's just a cool trick to learn, a party trick, if you will. So half of this video is for learning for the GRE and GMAT and any other exam, and the other half is just kind of for fun as well. And I'm gonna start with dividing by five. This is one of my favorites. So for example, imagine the number 240, and we're gonna divide by five. Now I know many of you could maybe do this, and some of you would say, oh, it's quite quick with a calculator, but I wanna show you this secret. To start with, to divide by five, we're gonna divide by 10, and then double the answer. So we can say 240 divided by five, 48. You wanna be able to say it that quickly. How did I get it that quickly? 240 divided by 10 is 24. Double of 24 is 48. So just to repeat, if you want to divide by five, a quick way is instead to divide by 10 and then timesing by two. And if you learn this trick, you can get an answer like that in literally one second. For example, I would want you to be able to do 360 divided by five, 72. Done, that sort of speed, okay? Let me think of another one and I'm gonna give it to you. 420 divided by five. Did you get 84? 420 divided by 10 is 42, double it is 84 and we've divided by five. And this even works for numbers where it doesn't go in perfectly. Imagine 214 divided by five, 42.8, okay? Divide by 10, you get 21.4. 214 divided by 10 is 21.4, the decimal place moves. Double of 21.4 is 42.8. Now, obviously you might be a bit slower initially because I've done this for a while, but once you get practice, it's like swimming. You get quicker and quicker, better and better, and it doesn't go away. Not until you're very old, I guess, and then it might go away, but you know, for now it will stay. <laughs> okay, let me give you another one. 22,000 divided by five. Did you get 4,400? If we divide 22,000 by 10, you get 2,200, double of that is 4,400. Now you might say it's very specific to dividing by five, but you can imagine dividing by five comes up a fair bit in life. I've used that trick literally a thousand times, maybe more. Now you could say I'm a tutor, but still it comes up loads and loads, not just in exams, but in real life situations, dividing restaurant bills, what have you. Sometimes if you wanna find a fifth of something, or 20% of something, you'll need to divide by five. Those are some instances in which it comes up. Time for my next favorite mental math trick, and that is squaring. This one is gonna be a little bit harder, but I really like it. I might give you a visual aid to go along with as I explain this slightly. Think of the number 32, specifically 32 squared. Now, that sounds quite hard to do in your head. I don't forget that number that was, I think, 10 digits long that I did in my head. It is possible. But how do we do something like 32 squared? The key thing is to split up the number 32 into 30 and two. Now I've seen other methods for squaring online, but I like this one better. So 32 is 30 plus two. And 32 squared is 30 plus two in brackets times 30 plus two in brackets. Yes, it's that foil again. Front times front, outer times outer, 
etc. Okay, we're going to expand the brackets. Okay, but I'm going to teach it to you if you're not familiar with FOIL in an even simpler way. Because when you expand these brackets, when you multiply 30 plus 2 by 30 plus 2, it's always the same four steps. You could think of it almost as three steps, really. We square the first number, so 30 squared. That shouldn't be so hard if you know your square numbers off by heart. 30 squared is just 3 squared with two extra zeros. That's 900. Then we do the first number times the second number doubled. You could count that as one step or two steps, but either way, it's the first number, 30, times the second number, 2, and then double the answer because we will get 30 times 2 once and then 30 times 2 again later. So to save the time, we just do 30 times 2 and then we double it. 30 times 2 is 60, double of that is 120. Let's add that on to our existing answer of 900. 900 plus 120 is 1020. And finally, we do the other number squared. 2 squared is 4, add that on, 1024. Some of you are leaping for joy and going, this guy Philip is a genius. Others of you are going, that sounds quite hard, that's quite a lot of steps. Is this really a quick way? Obviously when I'm explaining it and you're first learning it, it sounds like quite a lot of steps, but not if you try some harder examples. Let's do 43 squared. Before this video, you almost certainly wouldn't have wanted to do that or didn't think you'd be able to do that in your head. But let's try using this method. We do the first number, 40 squared. 4 squared is 16, add on a couple of zeros, 1,600. Then we do the first number times the second number doubled. 40 times 3 is 120, double of that is 240. Add on 240 to 1,600, that's 1,840. And then do the second number, the 3 squared, 3 squared is 9, add that on, and you have 1,849. So it does take practice. Obviously, you are slightly relying on your memory to remember the existing numbers, but with practice, you get there. And that's pretty impressive to do that in your head. Obviously, if you do it silently as well, people are even more impressed because they're like, how are you even doing this? Like 43 times 43, 43 squared, that's just such a big number. How are you doing this? You can maybe tell them the secret or maybe don't tell them the secret and let them think you're a crazy genius. Either way, that's my trick for squaring numbers. Finally, we're going to do some mental long division. And this arguably comes up the most in real life because imagine there are three of you in a restaurant and your bill is $525, for example. Expensive restaurant and you're going to split it equally. You don't want to kind of sit there awkwardly going, I don't know, like 100, 200. You want to be the one to show off and go, oh, boom, here's the answer. The secret for doing a calculation like that is literally to use long division in your head. So we have 525 divided by 3. How many 3s go into 5? That's just 1 with a remainder of 2. And then the next number, therefore, is 22. We take the remainder from that first number, there was a remainder of 2 from the 5, and then we join that together with the next number of 2 in the 525. Now we have the number 22. How many 3s go into 22? 7. Remainder 1. We join that remainder of 1 to the next number, or the last number, 5, how many 3s go into 15? And that's 5. So it's 175. Notice there's no pen and paper. There's no need to write a long thing. We've done it all and we've done it all in our heads. Admittedly, this is the hardest one to master out of the three that I've told you. But if you're really being ambitious with your mental maths, this is something you can do. And again, something you can show off with in real life all the time. Let's do another one. 540 divided by 4. How many fours go into five? One with one remainder. That remainder of one joins up with the next number, the four in 540. How many fours go into 14? That's three, remainder two. Finally, 
we join up that two with the last number of zero to make 20. How many fours go into 20? Five. So that'd be 135. Obviously I went quite quickly and it does take a bit of practice, but it's a really cool technique when you do master it. And of course, if you're doing it silently in your head, people are even more shocked when you're able to get the right answer. For the next example, I'm gonna do it silently just to show you what this is like. And you can do it at the same time as me to see if you're quicker, or you can just pause the video and work it out in your own pace. I'm just gonna do it silently just to show you the effect and how cool it sounds when someone just gets an answer for a really hard seeming problem. Okay, let's do 476 divided by seven. 68, okay? How did I get that? How many sevens go into four? None. So we look at the next number, 47. We join up those first two numbers if it doesn't go into the first one. How many sevens go into 47? That was six, that's 42, remainder five. And then we connect the remainder of five to the next number of six. And how many sevens go into 56? That's eight. So the answer was 68. That was a hard example, but it does illustrate that even with tough examples, you can get it right, and it is pretty cool. Anyway, mostly this video is just for fun. If you've benefited at all, leave a like, leave a comment, and if I get enough comments, I'll do maybe another set of mental math tricks. We'll see how it goes. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next video.